Let's look at the catalyzed reaction of hydrogen and oxygen to form water. If you flow hydrogen and oxygen over platinum, you'll form water. If I start with one mole of hydrogen and two moles of oxygen and let the reaction go to completion, what's present in the largest number of moles? Hydrogen, oxygen, or water? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at possible explanations for each answer. A, the lightest molecule is H2, hydrogen, so it should end up with the greatest number of moles. Or B, only one quarter of the oxygen is consumed, leaving one and a half moles behind, that'll be the greatest number. Or C, the product is H2O, so it should end up with the greatest number of moles. Think about those three and make a selection. We're talking about the reaction of hydrogen and oxygen to form water. Two particles, or two moles of hydrogen, react with one particle, or one mole, of oxygen to form two particles, or two moles of water. Now, we weren't given the reagents, hydrogen and oxygen, in that ratio. In fact, you hardly ever are. You don't provide things in the exact chemical ratio. And when you don't, one thing will run out before the other thing. One thing will be in excess. And in this case, I think you can see we have much more oxygen than we need to react with one mole of hydrogen. To react with one mole of hydrogen, we'd only need half a mole of oxygen, and we have two. So in this case, let's represent the numbers of moles by just a circle. So one mole of hydrogen, two moles of oxygen. Now when the chemical reaction goes, that one mole of hydrogen will consume half a mole of oxygen and produce one mole of water. Hydrogen and water will produce in one-to-one -one ratios. They have the same stoichiometric coefficient. So one mole of hydrogen, if there's enough oxygen, which there is, will produce one mole of water. But there's oxygen left over. We call hydrogen here the limiting reagent because when it ran out, it limited how much product I could form. So at the end of the reaction, one and a half moles of oxygen remain, and one mole of water remains, and no hydrogen remains. So the compound present there in the greatest number of moles is oxygen at one and a half. So the correct answer here is B, oxygen.